<clears throat> Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. I hope that everybody is having a good day. Uh, you've had a great week to this point. Uh, as for me, uh, it's been an extremely busy week, a lot going on as I have said before. Uh, but hey, it's par for the course. If you want things to happen, you've got to be willing to get out and put in the work and take on the challenges. You get nowhere sitting around, sitting back in your corner of comfort and hoping things come to you. you got to go out and get them. And a lot of times it takes a lot of focus, a lot of work, a lot of commitment, a lot of time. Uh, so I'm not complaining. I'm just saying there's a lot going on. Uh, uh, for those who have been keeping up, we are two... Uh, segments into the Black, Black Wealth uh, uh, built the Black Wealth Project series, uh, where we are talking about multiple components, elements, machinations, and uh, strategies against Black de uh, the, the Black development of wealth, or uh, the development of Black wealth. So. Uh, as well as strategies and all that. We're two in. We've talked about the black codes. We talked about Jim Crow segregation. Tomorrow we're going to talk about education. If you have not uh, yet become a sponsor uh, of uh, this 25th book, uh, learn how you can do so. The information will be in the description box. It's a great way to show love and support while also memorializing uh, someone you love and care about. Uh, and depending on how much you sponsor, maybe even having their picture in the book. It's my way of partnering with you guys to make some things happen. Uh, but what I want to talk to you about is the lack of awareness in the black community. The awareness of how things work, the awareness of what's going on around us, the awareness of what's needed from us, uh, the awareness of how we are being handled, the, the awareness of what is happening to our children. I mean, I, I see so many things uh, that are happening that we tend to be completely uh, ignorant of. We are unaware and it is the lack of awareness the lack of understanding that makes us vulnerable to exploitation and manipulation and it happens so frequently because we tend to move with our feelings. We tend to trust uh, the media, the main street media far too much. Uh, we tend to seek acceptance and approval from the very ones who are at the source of our suffering uh, we know it they are, the, they are the source we talk about it we complain about it but at the end of the day there's something about them that we want to aspire to maybe it's the fact that they hold the power currently well what we should be aspiring to is the development of our own power the development of our own power lever something that we can leverage to gain even more power that's what we should be focused on, not uh, ing uh, ingratiating ourselves to the power structure. The power structure doesn't have a place for us. We were never part of the plan. It was never in the design for blacks to advance as a part of the systemic makeup of how this country runs. This racial caste system is here for a purpose. The moment that we were no longer slaves and we couldn't be exploited that way, the plan that was on already to find other ways to exploit us. I talked about that yesterday in the Black Codes. Uh, where we couldn't be exploited, we were excluded. Talked about that today in Jim Crow. And how their children are educated versus how our children are educated and all of the access and all of the uh, inner workings of education from teachers to systems to curriculums uh, will be talked about tomorrow. But at the end of the day, there's so much more than just talking about what's going on when it comes to wealth. We are in last place in every statistical category of socioeconomics. It's not an accident. And it's not all our fault. But 
a lot of it is sits on our shoulders because we must be aware. When you have developed a level of awareness to how things are, uh, are transpiring, you understand the, the mechanisms and the machinations of the enemy, and therefore you are now able to create a strategy to counter those mechanisms and machinations. But until you have an awareness, you spend your time reacting. Reacting means that it's happened to me and emotionally responsive without any direction. A response is different than a reaction. Even in medicine, if you are being treated for something and, and, and they say you are having a reaction, that's a negative thing. You're reacting to it and it's not good. But if they say you're responding to it, that means that it's working. Uh, same thing in life. When something has happened, when you react to it, it's out of an instinctive reflex. And if you don't have the know-how, the protocols, uh, the planning, the strategies in place that says if this happens, this is what you do, and you've revisited it, you've trained it, you've passed it on, you've taught it to your children, when it comes, you won't know how to deal with it, and you will react. And you will get no gravity, no leverage, uh, no traction, just frustration. That's all we have is a history of being frustrated because we feel unheard, we feel unfelt, we feel unloved. This isn't about love, this is about power. And right now we don't possess it. Oh, we have the potential, but we are not taking the steps to possess power. In, in first, that must be knowledge and the understanding of the knowledge. That must be a wisdom in how to utilize the knowledge. That must be a willingness to do so and that must be a consistency throughout. You can't just have a few people doing it. We lack unity. That was a point in time that the greatest fear was the unification of blacks because they understood what that meant. They've been so effective in keeping us divided that the idea of us unifying now is almost laughable. And so they, they, they feel comfortable, they feel safe. We're not coming together. We're too busy fighting each other. We're too busy talking about the kids and kids are talking about us, and men talking about the women, and women talking about the men. The middle class dogging the poor, the poor hating the middle class. Nobody liking the bourgeoisie. And on and on and on, and we don't see the destructive force in that got to bring back a self-love for ourselves, not seeking love from them. We've got to bring back a level of accountability and responsibility to the community that we behave pro-socially. In other words, it's not simply about us. It's not about uh, only fulfilling what I feel I want and what I need and how I like it and whatever I think and what I want. Because while it may work for me, it may, in the grand scheme of things, be detrimental to the whole. Oh, I know that hurts because we have been literally conditioned to think only of ourselves and what we want to do and how we want to do it. And we have our rights and we've having our rights has gotten us to a point to where we are an inch away from irrelevancy, not because we're not relevant inherently, but because we will be reduced to a force so insignificant that nobody even cares what we think anymore or what we're going through or how we feel. We've got to reverse the trend. We've got to seek knowledge. we got to want to know it. Not just knowledge that confirms our biases, but the knowledge, is that, the knowledge that challenges our current beliefs. The knowledge that challenges us to move into a new spectrum of behavior, of thought, of habits. We have a long way to go. And I just look at some of the things you know, that have transpired over the last couple of days and I'm like, wow, we're still here and this is why we're still here. We've got work to do. I'm challenging everyone. Let's put in work. Let's find out what we need to find out. Let's find people who are capable, capable of teaching. 
uh, let's open ourselves up to learning. Let's open up ourselves to expanding and growing and becoming what we need to become as individuals so that we are as strong collectively. Because if we got, we can have all the strategies in the world, but if we got a bunch of weak links, the chain's going to break. And we're going to get no traction, no, no propulsion, and no forward movement. We've got to start strengthening the individuals and subsequently that will strengthen the families, the marriages, and that will sub subsequently strengthen the families, and that will subsequently strengthen the community, and ultimately it will strengthen the collective. But we've got to understand, we've got to be better as individuals. That's all I have for you guys right now, but I had to share that with you. Um, I'm trying to get some things done, as I said. Don't forget, go check out that link. Sponsor uh, the Black Wealth Project. Uh, have your name published in the book along with your memorialization statement for whoever you want to memorialize and show love to. Uh, on that note, I'm out of here.